Friends asked if I would do a little tutorial on how to paint this cute little cobweb. And so um, you start out by taking a white crayon or a clear crayon. And there's kids in the background, so please excuse the noisy. Um, and you just, I just kind of put a dot in the, in the center and do your lines out. And then do each row kind of swooshes. Okay, so... Um, so I have that done. Then you take like a big round brush. You can use, you know, any size. I'm doing this one because it's faster. And you wet the whole surface. So Aiden, can you take the camera and look at the... So you wet the surface with a nice wet sheen. Not, it's kind of puddly, but um, not super puddly. But wet the whole area that you're gonna paint. Got it. Oh. Um, it doesn't have to be. Hey guys, can you not do hide and seek while I'm okay. trying to do this tutorial? Um, so we do that. Actually, maybe that's a bad idea. Jack's going to freak out. There's some spots over there. Yep. You predicted my, the future. Here, my uh, four year old. Being a four-year-old in the background. Okay, so I have this wet. And the key to having your colors blend really nicely is by having a really wet paper. Nice. On the right side of the paper. Yeah, if you don't do it on the right side of the paper, it's not going to... It, it just and this soaks. is watercolor paper. This is like 140 pound student student grade watercolor paper i'm just using a uh, number eight round tip here and i'm going to get really wet color so let's see um i'm going to mix so i get you get your your color and you mix it on the side get a good amount of color mixed can you stop Okay, now you're gonna just take and just kind of start start putting color on the page. Doesn't have to be any certain way. Um, this one here, he, he did the whole. This is Aiden's. He did the whole thing, and it just kind of the the thing shows through. So here I'm gonna. Now, if you're not careful. Your colors will be really muddy. Like uh, if the, the colors that you do together are not complementing colors um, on the color wheel, they will the, when they blend, they'll turn to brown or gray. So I'm doing colors that um, complement each other. So let's see how this all looks. See how wet this is? The colors, when they mix, when they touch each other, they bleed together and they they blend really nicely. That's why it, it's so yeah, yeah. important to use complementary colors. Exactly. Now, if you were just doing it, see, watch. This is going to kind of turn kind of gray, which is kind of a cool effect too. Yeah, yeah. In some situations, the kids found too that if if you don't. Um, if you don't uh, press hard enough, the, the, the cobweb won't show through. So, this is pretty fun. This is kind of how, it, how it's done. And you can go back and you can add... I'm going to add some yellow over here. The yellow looks kind of nice. Not right now, honey. Oh. Can't really see what I'm doing here. This is kind of dried up a little bit. Now I might go back and I might just kind of add some yellow in there randomly. Oh, this one needs more. And then once those colors kind of settle, I know it's okay though, honey. 
kind of it's, it's hard sometimes because it doesn't always turn out how we want it to so anyway that's kind of how it's done you can um you can kind of let your colors Tilt your page and let your colors kind of move together more. And that's how it's done. Thanks.